Welcome once again to The Locker. I'm your host, Legends of Cybertron, of which you can find over on Instagram under the same name. Now, here in front of you is definitely an old figure. And when I say old, I mean back 2018, so it's a couple of years old. Um, I'm pretty sure you can still get hold of him. However, with it being limited edition, he's very few and far between. Um, but I do know Optimus Prime, the uh, other version, the proper version that came out, is actually available still on uh, AliExpress and uh, eBay and places like that. So I thought I'd review him because out of all the hot soldiers, I'm going and working through my collection bit by bit. Uh, so eventually I will have all Mimic Planet uh, hot soldiers figures on the channel, uh, which pretty much, uh, there's, yeah, I think once I've done them, there's only Iron Trans, which uh, to this day I really don't know if Iron Trans is... Um, a branch off from Mech Planet and someone who has created more designs, you know, the Datsun Brothers. Um, on the other hand, is it just another company that bought their blueprints for them? Uh, I really don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, all I can tell you is that I'm going to review you in this guy here today, and you will have to bear with me because they I transformed this a while ago into alt mode, and I was going to review it back then and never did. So let's just go over the, the things that you get with it first. Obviously you get the instructions, like so. These are quite detailed actually, it's like a book, it's like a booklet. Lots to do, lots to transform. The arrows aren't quite, uh, not that bad actually. Just basically show you what you do with your legs and whatnot. And we'll fold that up to there. You get a matrix of leadership. Let's just do that to... Ooh, it doesn't fall off. I'll try and hold it for you there, see. Silver paint with red metallic paint in the middle. Yep. As you can see, hollow at the back. You also get a red energon axe. Uh, it's quite nice. It, ooh, it's still, it's basically like Optimus Prime, this figure. However, obviously, Nemesis colours. And then this goes into the back of the trailer. Which I will open up in a second. Uh, obviously, this goes up here like that, and then I've got it. I've got it the right way around. No, I have not. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't undo. Oh, I could have swore that undid. Never mind. It doesn't matter. So the guns go up and down, only to a certain level. Though, you just pull that antenna up there, and the satellite. Yeah, it goes up to about there. I think it. I think if that satellite was there, it would go all the way around, pretty much like the bottom here. Uh, it does the canopy open. Yes, the canopy opens. Don't know why. Nothing goes in there. I've not got anything small enough. Uh, and pretty much just folds back down again like that. That falls in on itself. Nope. Yes, yes. That way. That's the way it goes. Falls in on itself and just... That turns around again, like so. Then you get Roller, who also is grey plastic, black plastic wheels, uh, metallic red um, painted, like a flashing light on the back. And then you got Optimus Prime's gun, which pretty much is all black, pretty much like the Optimus Prime version. So, let's have a look at the, tr the cab and the trailer. Let's just move the Matrix over there out of the way. So as you can see, this is actually quite a nice cab. Quite a nice trailer to it. It does turn like so, and turns again like so. Uh, there is a little thing underneath, which will probably pop off in a second. Now, it takes you forever to put it back in. I know it does mine anyway. I do anyway. These bits come out just like the, you know, the old G1 Transformer of Optimus Prime. They basically come out, go to there on both sides. The wheels move on both the on both Nemesis and the trip. Okay, so let's take Nemesis off and let's do tail of the tape, shall we? 
So obviously, wide, as wide as he is, you're talking... I'm going to measure from the two silver bits of the two tanks. Uh, but I'll measure from the front roughly just just over one and a half inches by length I would say go from there to there about three and a half inches in length just for the cab though uh, the actual trailer itself try and stand it up a bit you're talking a good seven to, what, seven seven and a half to eight inches long followed by just shy of two inches in width so let's have a look at the old trailer now this uh, this is a pain in my backside and we're just going to use my pocky tool to try and open it up nicely for everyone so I don't break the damn thing nope. the doors do open see they're just a little bit stiff There we go, and obviously you've got the, uh, there you go, see, you've got that there that comes down at the back. Let's just pull these out a bit. I think they'd probably be better off going at the back like that. Like that, okay. So that come, goes down there. Have I got a transformer big enough? No, I'm not. I've only got roller, so I'm just going to put roller in there. I would say roller is probably the same size as Magic Square B, New Age B. Uh, I'd probably see if I'd get them in there. Might be able to get. Let me just tr look at wheel jack. You might be able to get toy wheel wheel jack in at a push. Not sure about anything else. And obviously that wasn't toy wheel wheel jack. Wheel jack that was the limited edition toy wheel uh, wheel jack that was what came out. So let's have a look at inside if we can get in it. So what? Ah, there we go. No, this is easier to get open than uh, Optimus's. No, oh, what's come off there? See? Every time. Oh, it's come off that bit there at the back. See? Easily slots back onto. Ta da! Uh, I can guarantee you anything. If it goes wrong, it will go wrong with me. And that fell off. That was a prime example. And I have no nails to pick them up. See if I can do that with it. Hey, got some stands here as well on the trailer, and as you can see, that bit there that goes into just put that down for a second goes into those two holes there. That's so the cab can move with you know with the trailer and whatnot. So that's that. Those are down. Da -da. And we'll just do that with it. So obviously, uh, this has a hole there to go onto this peg here, like so. What was that? Oh yeah. And then that comes up to there, like so. Obviously, roller can come onto here. And I don't think there's anywhere for the engine on axe to go. No, there's no. So, just before we get on to standing this up, let's just have a look inside. Very nicely detailed black plastic. Oh, that's just fell. Never mind. And obviously this does turn once it's on. No, it doesn't. I lied. I'm sure that used to turn on the other one. Never mind. It obviously doesn't because it would turn now. Unless I didn't put the other one down. On the other video. Okay. No man. So anyway, like I said, black plastic, very nicely uh, sculpted here all the way through. And then you've got this here as well. Like so. And then obviously roller goes on top like that. Okay. So, let's get to Nemesis. Here is Nemesis. Now obviously you can get to his uh, matrix compartment by just doing this. I just literally had to take the matrix out of there because it was such a pain to get out. Uh, it kind of like got wedged, so I had to try and force it out with this miniature screwdriver. 
uh, which it did come eventually. I'm not sure if I scratched it or not. Yeah, a little bit of a scratch there, but not too bad. And obviously, you just close them back up again when the matrix in. And that's the side of it. It's the back of it. That's the other side. That's underneath. And that is on top. Okay. So, what do we do for transformation? Well, pretty much we're going to start at the feet. So, we just move the feet up, like so. So, it does this. And we do that on both sides. Now, the feet do move, but they kind of only have a minute, a limited range there, don't they? And then what we're going to do, we're going to unpeg this and slide it. No. Nope. I'm going to unpeg it and move it out. You see inside there, it's on like a peg, uh, but the peg's um, actually inside, so you can't take it out. And that just goes to there, like that, and just stays there, pretty much. Do the same on the other side. The peg, obviously this peg here, you can't really see it, can you? There. Can you see the peg? That peg there just pegs into that. I'm just going to just point to it. Points to that hole there. Okay. We just whip this round and that just kind of slots into the and on top. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to move the legs down. Like so. There you go, and it actually just pops there, pops off at the back there, just push them back in on both sides. Okay, now let's move on to the front. So what we do with the front first, we take this out, because this is where your arms is, sorry about that, these are where your arms are, sorry. And then we move that round to there, push that in. We then move this arm out and move the arm down now as you can tell there's a little piece of plastic here use that to transform it with you have to push that up to turn the arm round and into the slot and what you do just push that back down again simples and then just turn the hand round like so okay let's do the other the other side so we do the other side unfold it fold it down let's just pick it out and just move it around move it down and we'll just unpeg that from underneath that shoulder socket there see I can't, can't really see it there do that if I do that that's what you've got to do to transform it you've got to do that and then push the arm up Okay, to uh, get it into the hole. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's back there, and let's just turn the fist round like so. Okay, we are virtually halfway there. Let's push the trailer back a little bit. Now, obviously, this just needs to unpeg here. to there and this just needs to unpeg to there as you can see there's nice little uh, pegs there that kind of slide underneath the C. and this will go back in a minute and then I think what we're going to do we're just going to move no we're not going to do that uh, we're going to move the arms up and out of the way and then we're just going to turn this round like so and push it in like that okay so again turn it around push it in did you see all that I hope you did and then we just spin his body around actually no first off what we need to do is do this push that to the so it's like that and then push his body around Ta -da! see and then we bring his arm down like this, 
bring his other arm down like that and then we'll work on his head and obviously you can see that's gone in there like that that is where it's supposed to go however we need to get the head out first let me just use this my ever so awesome pokey tool we take the head out we push these into the like so now why is that not going in there we are and we're in and just put the backpack back we are nearly done we just unpeg the legs which two pegs there there's two slots there that is nemesis prime oh my god i don't believe he's standing he never stands. Never. <laughs> Let's move it back a bit and move it up slightly. So as you can see, this is your typical Optimus Prime slash Nemesis Prime figure. You can put his gun on either hand. You can also put the Energon Axe on either hand. And just do this. you can pause him okay and that is pretty much that so as you can tell this up this nemesis prime i keep you see i like now optimus and i like nemesis i like i like both the figures they are pretty much what well, they are the same but just a different color um, I like the paintwork on this, I like the black plastic, I like the silver, I love the red windows, I love the red eyes, the silver paint in the forehead, the silver paint on the on the uh, shins, I love the silver paint here, there and everywhere, I like the white, I like the uh, turquoise blue there, and I think it's a great figure and I think it's underestimated. A lot of the time a lot of people go, oh I, I can't wait for Magic Square, I can't wait for New Age, but... Technically, you have got this Mech Planet Prime, and I can't see a, a problem with these guys. I mean, once you realise that these guys are actually classed as Legends Plus, I mean, look at Astro Train next to Mech Planet Nemesis. You can't say that this one is bigger, or bigger, or too big to be a Legends class when, uh, you know, Astro Train is, oh, the same height. Look at that. Anyway, each to their own. So let's measure the sh width of the shoulders. So you're talking two and a half inch in the shoulders, measured in height by, well, let's go from the point of the leg here. So just shy of five inch. He's, he is just over four, about four and three quarter inch. Yeah. To the tip of his uh, ears, spikes, what kind of what he wants, I don't, I don't really know what they are. They're on Optimus Prime, they're part of his head. To the top of his head, there we are, how's that? And that is pretty much that. So, obviously I'm not going to put the Matrix back in because I had a terrible, terrible time putting it back in. But, what I will do is I'll just put this over here. I'll put roller there, like so. I will move these to here like this and move that to there like that. Now if I remember rightly, this will stand up. Yes, there we are. We just move this up a bit. This will stand up. Now obviously you can't really think it, but you can put Nemesis there like that. And that's pretty much the length of uh, how you see him. There you go. As you can see, the legs are split apart. I mean, you could, you could literally do that with him if you wanted to. He just slide off ever so slightly, <laughs> but you could do that with him. Now, height comparisons. Let's get started, shall we? Well, obviously, this is Astro Train by Mechfans Toys. There you go. I really, I pretty much think that's a great height. We're going to do all the uh, the bigger class first, and then we got Vecma Toys Mind Wipe. Nope, just move that out of the way. 
again pretty much the same height then you've got MFT's Scourge not bad then you've got Runamuck by Iron Factory and you've got the Fallen by Iron Factory that's a great height don't go anywhere says that's a great height and you've got Tarn by Iron Factory sorry about that okay and then you've got Bludgeon also by Iron Factory and then you've got going into massive bots so we've got Cryotech I always seem to mess up his neck before I put him down. There you go, that's Cryotech. And then you've also got Yu Jing's Devastator, who has just unfolded on me. Never mind. Make sure it stands. <laughs> Yu Jing's Devastator, I'll just pull it up a bit. There you go. Push it down. Oh, not the table. Everyone went flying then. Oh, the only blue jump went flying. Oh, that's all right. So now about the smaller bots. Why have I moved Nemesis? <laughs> I tell. We have got New Age Starscream. Okay, then we've also got New Age Kickback. Okay, and we've got one part of Reflector by New Age. Then we've got DX9 Plague, or one of the plagues that you got in them packs that I got. And we've got Magic Square Breakdown. Okay, and then we've also got Magic Square Cyclonus. And then we've got. Oh, so not get, oh hang on, I missed out Galvatron. New Age Galvatron. Okay. Then we've got Magic Squares. Soundwave, straighten him up a bit. And then we've got Magic Squares Megatron. And then obviously we have Toy World's uh, limited edition Wheeljack, who I don't know a name for. There we go. And that was pretty much the end of the review. So, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Uh, I hope you can still pick, all, pick up uh, Nemesis Prime uh, for your collection, if this is the one you're after. There is obviously another one by Iron Factory. Is there one by New Age? No, there isn't, not yet. Is there one by Magic Square? Yes, there is. Uh, Can't think of else. I think that's about it. it. Might be one by oh Jim Bale. There's one by Jim Bale, which is an upscale DX9 version. Oh DX9, there's a DX9 version too. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share as much as possible. And um, I hope to see you guys again soon for the next review. Bye for now. Sorry about this, folks. Quite an additional fact about this figure. I just move that out and move this out is the box okay the box is pretty damn awesome with the artwork okay so that's your front that's the top that's the top that's the side that's the other side that's underneath but then when you look at the back you get that as well and this is Hot Soldiers O2B. So basically, your natural disasters, Nemesis Prime. 
again, thank you very much for watching. See you guys again soon. Bye for now.